much to me. That is the good thing about serving the Lord. All I've got to do is say, Lord, here am I. Send me, and he'll do the job. Amen. Just trust him when he does begin to move in your heart and when he pressures you on one side or he opens a door on another or he moves in your spirit one way or another. Leave it to the hand of God and stay away from people and their counsel because most men don't have a clue what they're talking about. It is a first-hand case. My life is not your life. What God does in my life is not what he's doing in your life. He's the same God. But he's got a reason for what he does. And so I was that broken reed. And that broken reed comes to the point to where you become a smoking flax. And there's not much faith left. And if you leave it to men, they'll destroy your faith. Let me say this to you and give you good counsel this morning, dear friend. Get your eyes off of people and put your eyes on the Lord. Put your trust in God and not in man. Men will let you down, but the Lord will never fail you. You say, well, preacher, that's easy. No, that's not easy to say. As I said to you a moment ago, I know what I'm talking about. And I know how that when I was down, and you're going to be down sometime, you're going to find the people that you put most of your trust in will stomp you when you're down. They'll kick you when you are at your weakest. And make no mistake about this, the ones that kick you and the ones that stomp on you are the ones that have no foundation themselves. I feel sorry for people like that. For when the wind blows and when the sea rages and when the trouble comes along, you will be the first one to fall. And your fall will be hard because you're building yourself up over somebody else. God help you if you're one of them. If you spend all your time picking at somebody, criticizing people, tearing people down, making fun of them and, 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 and using them as, 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 as a, some kind of a, a comfort to you if you can find something bad in them. That's because you got nothing inside of you that's giving you life. There's no power in you. There's no joy in you. There's no power of God moving inside of you. And oh, how this petty junk, I've seen it work in the church and in the lives of people. Get out of it. Get in your closet and get on your knees and say, Lord, I'm a miserable case. That preacher's talking to me. Oh, I can't do anything for you because I find somebody I can hide behind. I can find you always will be able to. If you're looking for some weak need Christian, for some vacillating saint, for some soul whose life is in a terrible mess, friend, you don't have to look long. You don't have to look long, but let me tell you something. Listen to me real good now. I'm going to give you some advice that came from years and years of dealing with people. If you're looking for people and looking at people and hiding behind people and tearing people down and, and you think that's building you up, I want you to go home and I want you to look in the mirror. And I'll guarantee you, when you look into that mirror, you're looking at one that is in worse shape than all of them that you're trying to tear down. You don't have a relationship with God. The moment you begin to have a relationship with the Lord, something comes alive inside of you. There's a fire that starts burning again. You're no longer focus upon people, but you focus upon Him, and you focus upon promises, and you focus upon the future, and your life is not about the here and the now, it's about the eternity. And when that begins to happen in your heart, something begins to move inside your soul where you got something to give to somebody. And when you have something to give to somebody, let me tell you this morning, this is something it took a long time for me to learn. If you want friends and you want people to be around you and you want people to, to, be, to be kind and good to you, you let something grow inside you that's worth having and they will come through the doors to get to where you are. If all you are is one constant negative put down, one constant negative uh, criticism, one constant negative defeated life, you can count on this. All of your friends will leave you because they got the same problem and they don't want to hear it out of you. But if something is growing inside you that's good, they'll want what you've got. And you'll be amazed at how many friends you have that come around you. And that's a little advice that came from you.